Hello students, welcome to Sort of Sus classes. The problem that we have in hand today is given f is a differentiable function with f prime x greater than 0, so f is an increasing function on r and satisfying the property limit of x going to minus infinity fx is greater than or equal to 0. So basically we need to find how f of 1 would behave. Firstly, I claim there exists x naught less than 0 such that f of x naught is greater than or equal to 0. Why is this? Now, suppose we assume the contrary. Suppose for all y less than 0, f of y is less than 0. Just pick y naught less than 0 such that f of y naught is less than 0. Now, we have some y naught here such that this is f of y naught. This is y naught. Basically, this is the graph. Now, if we take any y less than y naught, f of y has to be below f of y naught because f is an increasing function. f is a strictly increasing function. So, we see that x less than y naught implies f of x is less than f of y naught therefore limit as x going to minus infinity f of x can never be 0 because it is bounded above by f of y naught so our assumption was right our claim was right there exists some x naught less than 0 such that f of x naught is greater than or equal to 0. Now that we have such an x naught, suppose this is our x naught and this is 1, we can easily conclude that f of 1 is greater than 0 because f is strictly increasing note that the strictly increasing part is very important in this problem because if we had f of x naught is equal to 0 then if it was not strictly increasing in other words if f prime x was greater than equal to 0 then f of 1 could easily have been equal to 0 because because f prime of x need not be strictly increasing it might be constant at some parts here since it's strictly greater than 0 the function is strictly increasing and f of 1 is strictly greater than 0 so the correct answer is b now let us look at the next problem the question is for what values of x is x square minus 3x minus 2 less than 10 minus 2x. This is a relatively simple quadratic inequality. Let us try to solve it. This says x square minus 3x minus 2 is less than 10 minus 2x which is the same as saying x square minus 3x plus 2x minus 2 minus 10 is less than 0 which is the same as x square minus x minus 12 is less than 0. Now doing a middle term factorization, we get x square minus 4x plus 3x minus 12 less than 0, which is x minus 4 x plus 3 is less than 0. So the roots of this polynomial are minus 3 and 4. Now if x lies to the right of 4, x minus 4 and x plus 3 both are positive and this expression is positive. 
if it lies to the left of minus 3 then x minus 4 and x plus 3 both are negative and so this expression is positive so we have that x has to lie in this part x has to lie between minus 3 and 4 x cannot take the values minus 3 and 4 because in that case it would be equal to 0 and we have a strict less than sign so these brackets are open brackets and so c is our correct answer thank you